Whenever he asks you to save, please ensure that you save. I always say this, but it will never mean anything to you. It will never mean much to you till you lose like four hours of work. Like you have been working for the past four hours and something happened. Whatever it is happened and Revit just crashes or started hanging and spooling that you have to end the fire so you can just move forward. And the worst case scenario is after the two hours work is lost, you now spend, let's say, additional one hour or two hours trying to recover that work. And at the end of the day, you've wasted your time and then you wasted an additional time trying to recover that work. Best case scenario, Revit Journal comes to your rescue. All right, now let's talk about what Revit Journal is. You know, a week ago, I posted on my community post and I asked my audience whether or not they know what Revit Journal is. And, you know, I got a lot of comments saying that they do not actually know what Revit Journal is. So here it is. So now I've been working on this file for a while. Okay. I've done basically what I did was add these pavings, this pave area. I don't know exactly how long it took me to do that. I'm just this tutorial, this video is just for illustration purposes how you can be able to restore your file that has crashed without you saving okay for hours okay with the journal okay so i'm going to show you where you can find the revit journal where it is saved okay and then how you can load it into your revit and see what you get okay i've not actually saved anything i've done here so if i should close this file or if anything should happen to this file i'm going to lose all this paved area that i've done i'm going to close this file without saving okay i'm just going to press alt f4 on my keyboard okay now let me use um that didn't work let me use the tax manager so that would work okay and just end the task okay so revit i've closed this file without even saving so if i should go and open revit right back Okay, that is that work. Okay, let's open it and see what happens. You can see, let's go to the ground floor. This is the floor where I did all those things. You can see they are no longer showing. They are not there at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and close it back. All right, so for us to find the review journal, we need to go to somewhere in our file explorer. Okay, so let's quickly open it this pc user then app data local autodesk okay revit revit 23 then you see journal all right so this is 309 am all right where is the file let's just go ahead and group by date modified you see today's file okay you see 309 am you see this other one okay i'm guessing it's this one because after we opened revit we opened another one all right let's go ahead and find out which is it so the journal 38 oh 38 wait a minute yeah let's use this one that has bigger size let's drag it and drop it in here and see what happens As you can see, the journal is going to work for us and creating all those words I did before that I did not save, as you can see. Amazing. I'm not touching this screen. It is just happening on its own. This, this is exactly what I did before. This is exactly where I stopped that file. So I can now choose to enter interactive mode, okay? And then save the file 
So you, you see how Jonah comes to rescue. This is the best case scenario. It doesn't really work every time. Sometimes it will work halfway. Sometimes it won't even work at all. Okay. But for, to ensure that it works, you have to make sure that you have only one review session on. What I mean by one review session is you don't have more than one Revit open. You know, you can open, you can do that thing when you open a Revit and then you open another Revit software, like Revit session, Revit project, so, somewhere else. And then you are doing two work with two Revits open. Okay, what I mean by that is I can right click here and then click on Revit. And you see I'm opening another Revit. Okay, now when this Revit opens, I have two sessions of Revit. So whenever you are working and you want to be able to tap into journals, Revit journals, ensure that you have only one. As you can see, now I have two Revit sessions open. See, can you see? Now when you come over here, you see two Revit sessions open. Okay, in my experience, that is what, when you have more than one, it usually do not work. Okay, so when you have one open, you can at least try and restore the file just like you have seen me do. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. Okay, if you have not subscribed yet, okay, consider subscribing because we draw videos like this every week where we teach you softwares to help you level up your workflow and um, increase productivity in your workplace. Okay, not only subscribing, please ensure that you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in my next video.